Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Working with Power Tools. And if you kind of staggered in here uh, <laughs> inadvertently uh, or by misdirection or otherwise, uh, this is a video blog, uh, uh, let's say production of uh, and an effort on our part uh, being able to, um, you know, uh, assure and keep uh, our community of urban terrorists up to date as to the going on behind the scenes uh, as to, uh, let's say, transparency as to uh, the conversion of urban terror uh, uh, on uh, id Tech 3, a 15 year old game, uh, as a mod of uh, Quake 3 over to a standal a true standalone version of the game uh, as to mechanics and, and playability and, and what have you to the unreal 4 engine so in theory the uh, current iteration of the game as you see it except for the fact it's on a different engine is the uh, the blueprint and the roadmap for everything is of course is maintaining uh, that type of uh, feel uh, the, the game that we like to play as a run and gun <coughs> uh, uh, and uh, kind of over time maybe retire the old girl uh, of 15 years old, uh, recently had a birthday, and uh, uh, and move forward uh, into the future for another 15. Hopefully, for another 15 years, people will still be playing this game uh, uh, as it's iterated uh, through all of time. <laughs> say, uh, so uh, kind of catch up. Uh, okay, to set the premise of this uh, episode is this. Uh, we'll refer to this as more of the art of. Uh, the art of urban terror HD as to expectations of what it's going to look like and uh, and uh, as you see in on the screen here this is um, a new map that we're going to introduce into the urban terror HD lineup uh, I came across this in the epic marketplace while buying some uh, content and assets uh, I was looking at this particular package because it has some interesting um, uh, objects uh, as far as uh, uh, working on Abbey which is on the rack here and I was so impressed by the layout that uh, since it's uh, it's part of the Epic Marketplace, it's a fair use asset. Uh, it, I can reconfigure this map any way I want, make use of it any way I wish, without uh, concerns as to copywriting issues. And we own it because we I we paid for it. So this is a a, a map that uh, we're, I'm going to I we are going to work on as far as making it uh, urban tear compliant as as to uh, functionality because there's a lot of uh, assets in here that uh, don't really jive with uh, with uh, a 2015 and type of environment that uh, we hope this to portray there are obviously towns and cities that are looking a little bit aged like this there's a uh, uh, renaissance fairs and what have you and uh, make this a little bit more exciting let's turn this into a, a community uh, uh, contest uh, name this map you know, put it in the comment section. Uh, we look if, if you look, once we go through the run through and everything, and you get a little bit more familiar with what we've got going on here. Um, uh, post in the comments what you think this map's name should be, and uh, for the prize, of course, you get bragging rights to say, "Well, I named such and such a map, such and such a map." So, uh, upon release, but what's nice about this is, is it's uh, we have a lot of maps that are in uh, some form of uh, of completion. Uh, what you see here is what's on the rack, uh, so to speak, that's uh, definitely being headed towards being HDized. Uh, Abbey, we have Casa, we have Mykonos, uh, we have Uptown, Uranus, and uh, of course, uh, if you've been following some of the uh, dialogue in the forums, and uh, um, uh, there's a, 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 in the batter's box, so to speak, is um, uh, Turnpike, and uh, of course, we have our version, a reversion that we were building for uh, um, FS Tech One originally, and uh, that's uh, Nevada. So uh, those are those are you know there's there's still there's still some internal dialogue that needs to be completed as far as uh, going better up with it whether whether or not we're just going to go with uh, uh, with the Nevada overall design or uh, fall back to redoing uh, or attempting to do. Uh, uh, a turnpike version now just to kind of give you a heads up uh, there's no literally no way to be able to duplicate the overall the overall uh, uh, um, continuity of the art from it take three into unreal four in uh, in the same way that we did casa if you look at casa it's uh, at its current state it's uh, more or less intact as a one-to-one -one comparison uh, but since we don't have the original arc we don't have the original map file which we can do the conversion from which is how we did casa um, 
it's it's going to have to be done. Um, it's going to look turnpike-ish, but uh, it's it's not going to have that same type of continuity as as say a casa would have with that type of level of uh, uh, assets. So um, be it uh, in the end, it'll, it'll now look like a Nevada, or it's going to be a turnpike modified uh, as to art content. So I'll just kind of point that out. Um, uh, maybe if I if I haven't if I haven't mentioned it all at all, this episode is going to be more about the art of Urban Terror HD for the future, as to an impression, not necessarily what it will be. So uh, keep in mind that these video blogs are totally 100% work in progress, uh, as to completion. But uh, well, just to make it more assuring to those who are interested in the project, from. Uh, a community perspective that yeah it's being worked on is it you know people aren't just sitting around waiting for things to get done things are actually getting done even though that the progression is rather slow now how things just kind of uh, I, well, I kind of want to avoid technical things in this version but uh, how things really work is uh, a, a lot of downtime uh, because people you know you got uh, students we have people working they got real jobs this is uh, remember this is all being done for free we don't get paid for this this is a, a, a work of love uh, as far as uh, keeping the old lady alive uh, as, uh, as, uh, as obsolescence by design is nipping at your heels. You know, we got, we're in that uh, time, that frame uh, position where we have to actually start thinking about making things move over to uh, uh, upgrading the hardware and specifications at the same time, hopefully keeping uh, uh, low uh, specifications as far as hardware goes. So, um, uh, 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 and at other times it's just somebody, it's like somebody threw a switch and every, everybody on the team is just working like crazy. So, uh, you can almost set, uh, set your calendar to when things are speeding up. Uh, usually in the first part of the year, you, you know, we start getting into where, you know, the students on the team are starting to take their exams and they have to do studying, of course. And then other periods in time where, where people are, uh, have their crunch time in their real job, so to speak. So, <clears throat> moving on and moving forward, uh, I think, uh, let's do a, let's do a, uh, do a play. I'm going to do this all in the pie because it's, uh, 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 some other stuff going on in the background that uh, kind of lags things out. Oh, so if we keep a reasonable, a reasonable resolution, we should get uh, a pretty snappy gameplay. Okay, we'll hit play, and we'll take a look at some of the art assets. Now, uh, to mention up some of the problems that the uh, issues that you're going to see that uh, that are known issues is uh, the LR currently clips the near plane, so it t tends to to call out every once in a while. So you'll see a as we as we run around, you'll kind of see it flash in and flash out. That's uh, a known issue, and uh, and uh, I just gonna have to kind of backtrack to find out where the actual root is the problem, where the root of the problem is. Um, and, uh, uh, and and another issue that uh, you'll currently see is we are on the current on the 9.10 or 4.10. Um, iteration a version of the engine which is a preview release and every pre preview release in the history of the unreal 4 engine has had issues and problems that uh, just kind of pop up out of nowhere that uh, you didn't experience in the previous build so in this case the <laughs> the known in your face issue is things tend to kind of pop in and pop out as the LEDs uh, are gone kind of wacky uh, so uh, that's uh, so take that into consideration that once again we're showing you work in progress that includes the dirty laundry and the problems that we're experiencing uh, uh, at any inter type of iteration. But moving on, uh, just to get a kind of there go see the popping to kind of move around. Why I'm I, I really you know I, just uh, this uh, this particular uh, overview map. You, usually you get maybe a lucky if you get a block uh, just showing off all of the different components this one is actually uh, a, a, a much more feathered out environment uh, this is actually a more of a practical map that could be used and uh, we just have to eliminate some stuff so like for example boom here a rock we need to take the collision off of that and uh, boom you get hitched up on the corner so we need to start finding out hitching part, part you know rocks again 
back off of that and you can even get hitched up onto the uh, hitched up onto uh, uh, the steps so those need a slight correction there to uh, make it uh, uh, URT compliant uh, okay a little bit of jumping here I am the last person to be demonstrating this any kind of in-game mechanics um, I think I can probably show up uh, there we go hitched up again uh, mechanics so once we once uh, we get things up to uh, a little bit more up of speed we've more or less you could say got the wheels on the bus to go round and round uh, and uh, starting to consolidate a, a fair number of el uh, elements that are being developed separately from uh, the, the main core of the game we actually have a content uh, development environment where this stuff is being built um, outside of the, the the core let's say the core game package so that way we can avoid putting anything into the game engine uh, uh, actual that is just adding unnecessary padding and duplication and what have you so uh we, we have various different versions of the game uh and, and kind of uh as part of the work in progress uh requirements so um but hopefully this will give you uh, somewhat of a sense of, of, of how slick this moves. Except for that annoying pop in and pop out problem. Mm. Okay. But this is this is actually the uh, the game uh, as uh, as part of the main package, as part of the uh, what makes up for uh, the uh, animations and and the uh, and the art asset and content that that you will see as a deliverable. Uh, not just just this is just not um, a, a sandbox well, it isn't a sandbox but it is in the game actual sandbox so to speak okay so uh, weapon uh, this is the uh, uh, of course you know the LR this is uh, this is uh, on the rack just as a lot of the uh, uh, map assets are uh, needs a uh, fire uh, some more detailing work as far as uh, as uh, detailing maps go uh, this here is of course is the m4 that's also on the rack too as well and it needs some artwork done to it as far as texturing and materials goes to uh, to get that kind of detailing uh, this here is the m4 pro which is a package that we purchased because it was it was um, uh, already made and built to uh, to a workable specifications as far as blueprints and what have you uh, as to being able to uh, just more or less kind of plug and play uh, the um, the loadout, you know, as to uh, weapon specifications, um, the you know how you know wh how much value does this hit the head, uh, torso, uh, legs uh, is all governed by the wep weapon in particular and has nothing to do with how uh, collision is detected by the player. So uh, this gives us a much, much, much more broader scope of, uh, of uh, specifications that we can add to uh, a particular weapon. Every aspect of this weapon is controlled by a blueprint, uh, same with any weapon that's in as part of the, uh, the loadout. And we're getting into the technical mumble jumble uh, side, uh, side of things, but specifications of a weapon is, of course, is a c critical component of what makes up this game and makes it so much enjoyable. Is uh, you know, there's uh, we have we have dialogues going on 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 our on our on our message boards, uh, <laughs> detailing to almost to the third decimal point <laughs> as to uh, as to weapon specifications. What is different between one weapon and the other, and how they're used as part of uh, of uh, uh, combat tactics in a a um, classical run and gun uh, game so there is a technical nature to the game uh, it's uh, right up there with anything you can think of uh, it's just that you have to your focus is more on how to use the tools to actually shoot someone Yeah, they all sound the same. Uh, once again, art. Getting back to the art of Urban Terror HD, we have uh, 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 a first number of different uh, uh, weapon effects and sound effects and foliages that uh, are of professional quality. We actually wrote down and bought instead of uh, hoping that one of the members of the team would go out to a, to a firing range and, and record some samples because they they just happen to have. Um, 
the proper HD type of gear to sample digital quality uh, sound effects. Uh, instead, we decided just to uh, invest in some quality uh, weapon sound effects and foley, foley sounds and what have you, so uh, we can really uh, add, to, uh, add a spice to each weapon. Uh, we only have three at the moment because this is all we need as far as developing a proper framework for everything else that will come after it, uh, as well as mix and match different weapons and what have you. Uh, okay, back to this. This is the um, the, uh, the quality control. This is going to look like this, like that, or this. This is going to look like this, <laughs> and this is going to look like this. So, in the, this is this is quality control here. Uh, hands uh, hands will be pertaining to the character in question as being unique. So. Um, you know, if uh, if you're using the Sarah character player model, uh, then you'll see Sarah's hands. If this is uh, uh, if this is uh, Tom, you'll see Tom hands. If you're using a black character, you'll see black hands. Uh, I think uh, uh, Charles, yeah, Charles is a black character. And if you see Asian, um, then, uh, that, uh, then th 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 you'll see their hands are not uh, a generic as it is currently. Or you, if you use female. <laughs> If you, if you use a female player model, you get female hands. If you're using a male player model, then you get male hands. Then there's no uniqueness to, or difference between whatever character you're using at that particular time. So, um, okay, that kind of covers the, uh, the weapons. And a little bit of a, a walk around and uh, hitching up <laughs> on the rocks. And we can run. Uh, I hope I mentioned that I'm more of a stealth player, so don't expect me to see actually uh, driving to the net, so to speak. But I'm pretty sure some, uh, some future date, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll get somebody jumping around and, and, and to get you a better idea of the actual physics uh, and uh, of the uh, mechanics, so to speak. So, but, you know, <laughs> I'm on the worth worst player I, I, I just tend to tank around uh, that's because mostly I like uh, I like stealthy games like Splinter Cell and uh, Assassin's Creed or Thief or those type of games where you usually gotta kind of sn be sneaky and not uh, and not go Rambo but you can see that certainly can accelerate up to speed okay so uh, that's covered uh, let's take a, a, a look at the actual character and uh, we can uh, we have a third-person perspective uh, as part of the development package. So just so the devs, uh, the animator, me, can see what the heck is going on as to uh, player movement. We kind of demonstrated the basis for the character movements in a, a really really old uh, video. Um, right now it's just a, a turret a turret type of animations where the character just kind of turns and moves in different directions based on on your directional keys uh, this case uh, WDAS or whatever it is that uh, is most commonly used to control players and a little bit difficult to control because of the uh, <laughs> distance of the perspective view and of course uh, we're going to add action events that are uh, legs, torso up. The legs are locomotion, meaning getting the player moving around the map is connected to whatever it is that uh, controls that. Uh, the action events are being going to be, uh, part of the, the uh, upper. So if I do a reload, <laughs> the world's greatest reload. Yeah, each of the reloads are going to be uh, tailored specific for the weapon that they're currently using. So, uh, regardless, of it, like if they're using a, a revolver, the reload's going to not going to be a generic reload. It's going to be a proper looking reload as to timing, and, and time hopefully timed out as to how long it would actually take somebody to re re reload a revolver. So, uh, specification wise, there's going to be let's say somewhat of a, a real world parody. Uh, and not just uh, something that is timed out for whatever uh, all and every weapon that they're using um, uh, particularly like things like chain guns or what have you uh, it takes a lot longer to load one of those than it does to take to reload a sidearm I think we have some bindings that are set up no 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 they're not set up yet uh, crouch uh, health no they're not set up yet uh, whoops! <laughs> nice little hop and jump off the rock there, buddy. 
Yeah, so we, you can see how kind of uh, it can, it's a little bit contact sensitive about collision, you know, with, still hooks up on the rocks. Okay, so, um, I, hmm, I don't think there's much more to add as to, as to, uh, consolidated art, you know, and just wanted to give, uh, give you guys a update as to the overall, let's say, art impression that we're looking at uh, within the next, hopefully not too distant future as a release build of Urban Terror HD. So, um, mm, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. Uh, um, I am planning on doing uh, a, a co-op uh, podcast or video cast with uh, Blade Killer. Her and RC are just doing some <laughs> like some awesome work as far as um, as part of the uh, new framework for the character player models uh, using ZBrush and uh, some of the stuff that's coming out from that uh, end of the end of the uh, the development pipeline is just looking awesome. Um, oh, uh, I'll do one last thing here. Um, as far as art to kind of demonstrate the uh, the, the modular aspect um, what can be done hopefully for the future okay one of the things that are always coming up is bots <laughs> fix the bots <laughs> in which you really can't do because you can't plot in and put in, in uh, after the fact you can't put in in pathways and navigation uh, areas for for bots in uh, in tech 3 slash uh, already compiled map uh, in the case of uh, Unreal 4, everything is a modular component, meaning that uh, if uh, if uh, a map maker wants bots in his map, he can quite easily add them. Uh, it's something that we don't have to institute or implement as a, as a deliverable feature. So in this case, uh, let's say, okay, I want bots. I go over to the marketplace, and there's like uh, once once they start hitting, um, becomes popular, then you can buy uh, whatever bots you wish for like 25 bucks or whatever it is that the fair market will support, and then plunk it into your map, and boom, you have bots. Uh, in our case, we're probably going to be supplying something that just kind of works. Uh, as far as putting bodies into an environment, but uh, my personal opinion is a network game where people should be real in the environment. Uh, uh, bots shouldn't be really, uh, you know, be um, a major playing component of an online type of game, except for maybe being running targets with uh, limited AI. And in this case, this is what we have uh, set up so far, and we'll probably get a little bit smarter. But for the time being, as dumb as a brick as it may be, uh, we have, uh, we're have using a modified bot version that doesn't do much except <laughs> except be a target. So if I hit play, uh, what this allows us to do is to actually take a look at the character models from the front view. And then we can control it a little bit by being able to see the side view. But in this case, we can see like, say, things like uh, facial expressions uh, and see how they work out. Uh, this is part of the art part, part of HD, is to uh, give our player models a, a certain personality. It's individualized to the different player models that we're going to, you know, uh, release in bulk, obviously on release day. You know, maybe have a, a half a dozen player models to play with. And then over time, do DLC releases. Uh, uh, with uh, with unique different types of characters and different per types of personality, uh, uh, develop a backstory for them. Uh, if you read, if you go to my blogs, uh, uh, my written blogs on our website, you, need, you can see that uh, there's somewhat of a story. It's not so much of a story as it is, um, you know, building up a personality to the different types of player models that we're going to be introduced. And part of that is to introduce the expression sets that, to. Uh, based on uh, on uh, context events so if we shoot a character they show pain if they're happy and they just you know if they just uh, capture the flag then there'll be a level of expression uh, expression of being happy uh, if you shoot them they'll show pain if they fire a weapon they'll show maybe anger or, or just not have that blank stare look at it that we have now even though we have a little bit more realistic uh, type of uh, action going on here as opposed to the pumpkin on the stick that's in the uh, MD3. So, um, there we have it. Also, we can, we can shoot them. And they fall, fall down and go boom. Wait for the So here's the uh, shoot, shoot. Have some specifications. This is my favorite weapon because it's, a, it's an overpowered piece of equipment. It just takes one shot and down they go. Everything is... <laughs> I don't know. This is for mature audience only. 
you know, we'll, just takes one shot and down she goes. Okay, but to add a little bit more to it as, as a running target, here's how easy it is to add uh, bots for in whatever map you're working on in expectation of any type of bot that's going to be added in the future, be it something that's made available as a free download or a download uh, you can buy from a marketplace or something that we supply, you can go ahead and start creating a navigation volume uh, uh, right from the beginning, which is kind of like saying building pathways uh, for um, uh, that defines where the player's going. So this is a navigation volume I'm putting in into the mapish. We'll make this a little bit more bigger to encompass the uh, the area that the that the uh, this particular bot is would be constrained to. Can't move outside the navigation, so you can add guards that can only move a specific amount of distance and what have you. And if we hit play now, now we should be chased after. Oh, here she comes. That simple. Okay can't get up here because there's no there's no no navigation type of envelope here that says you can climb and move up those steps so you put it in as a navigation volume part of the navigation volume and let's see we'll wait for it to respawn okay so <laughs> that uh, I will kind of end on that note and uh, uh, once again, if you have any questions about, uh, or you want to see something, uh, we have, you know, uh, everything is in nuts and bolts form, and it, it wouldn't take much to just kind of, uh, you know, pop something into the game actual to kind of let you see it. But uh, they're all part of that uh, Star Trek type of technology where you, you plug stuff in uh, as, as they're developed and then it just everything just starts to consolidate over time. So hope that hopefully this was informative uh, and uh, certainly if you've never played Urban Terror, H, uh, Urban Terror uh, <laughs> uh, shameless plug it once again. Awesome game, great community and uh, I'll leave it at that. Bye.